How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Starting up a bit of a new series here, a complete guide to this week's festival playlist. I'm going to show you every challenge, show you the optimal cars to use, the optimal routes, the optimal tunes and just a complete guide to getting 100% on this week's festival playlist. If you're struggling with any challenges, watch this video and I'm sure you'll struggle no more. Please do let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to do a video just like this for every single week of the festival playlist from now on. Next week, the week after that, every single week, a full guide to the festival playlist. Let me know in the comment section below. Starting off with the weekly challenge. Now this week's weekly challenge is done in the 2017 Ford Raptor and the first you know, challenge of the weekly challenge is to drive it. Very simple, so if you don't have it, go and buy it. If you do have it, get in it and drive it and that's the first challenge complete. Second challenge is win one cross country race in the Ford Raptor. Now what I recommend doing is going to your tuning and loading a tune that someone's already made. As you can see here, this is the one I picked. It just makes the Ford Raptor are really quick helps you win the races just a bit easier once you've plonked on some kind of off-road tune go ahead and do this country race right here this is one of my favorite ones to do it's very easy it's very fast and the third weekly challenge is nine trailblazer stars in the ford raptor now you can do any trailblazer you like however in my opinion this one here is the easiest one and you can quite easily get three stars on it with the ford raptor meaning you only have to go back and do it three times there's a spawn in fast travel up to this area and just go in a straight line under the bridge into the trailblazer exit the fourth challenge is get 500,000 skill points not in one go just accumulate 500,000 skill points over time now once you finish the trailblazers it actually leaves you in quite a good area to get skill points so just drift about in the area smash into some trees smash over some fences and it shouldn't take you too long to get 500,000 skill points the daily challenges now i can't really cover all of the daily challenges because they are not currently available yet we only have one so we're gonna have to skip over that but the horizon arcade is the next one along horizon arcade isn't that difficult i'm sure you all know what that is go on the map and do one of the arcades when they pop up all you have to do is complete it um again that's very straightforward i don't need to tell you how to do that the trial now the trial is always a tricky one and unfortunately with the trial it doesn't really rely much on your skill but it relies on your teammate's skill as well you could be the best player in the world and you could still lose the trial because of your teammates now i would recommend if you have the car pass using this subaru right here obviously the car class is restricted so once again go and get a tune and try to find a tune that is labeled for the trial you'll find no matter what car you pick you will find quite a lot of tunes that are labeled specifically for the trial i use the subaru right here i would highly recommend doing this with your mates and if you don't have any mates and you're a bit of a loner pop your gamer tag in the comment section below and see if anyone else in the comment section needs a bit of help with the trial see if you guys can work together as a team and crack on with the trial see what you can do next up we've got the event lab race now this is quite a long race you're on your own so all you have to do is complete it you're not in any rush it's not difficult it's just quite a long race I think it took me six and a half minutes to do in the Subaru that I mentioned a minute ago. You'll be all right. It's just, it just takes a bit of time. That's all. The Playground Games. Now this one is another very straightforward one. This one is restricted to A800 Jags, Jaguar cars. With Playground Games, you don't have to win to complete this. So there's no point me telling you much about this. Just get in any Jag, have a bit of fun and you will, you will complete it. Now the next three are probably the ones that you have clicked on this video for. We have the PR stunts. Now the first PR stunt is called Cabala. Blanco and it is a speed trap which you have to do in a B700 Mitsubishi. Now I did this second try just by getting a really really big run up so if you're struggling with a speed trap this is what I recommend. Go to the tuning and make sure you pick a B700 tune that is for off-roading for whatever car you pick. I picked the Mitsubishi Evo 9 and this is the tune I used so if you want to copy me exactly pick this car with this tune or a very similar tune at least it's off-roading. You need to get a 130 miles an hour through the speed trap and I recommend going up the hill you don't want to be driving uphill for the uh, for the speed trap so you want to drive downhill which means starting uphill so if you start somewhere up here in the trees and just figure out where the line of sight is to the speed trap and just get a huge huge run up as you can see on screen and you will eventually go past the speed trap and get over 130 miles an hour it's quite tight I can see why people are struggling with this one but that is how I did it in the Mitsubishi Evo 9 if it's possible in any any other cars again pop it in the competition below help each other out the next pr stunt is a speed zone called el gancho which is restricted to a800 porsches there's quite
quite a few rally based Porsches, I used this one here and once again go to your tunes and have a look for someone else's tune which is specifically A800 for this speed zone or for your challenges, you'll see that quite a lot of them will be labelled correctly for what you need anyway. I think you need to get 74 miles an hour as far as I can remember, now this one's actually quite easy. If you start from this direction here, on the first corner there's actually a tree in the way that you can actually go to the left of. You, you can basically cut the corner and go around the tree rather than going the long way around. It just helps keep a bit of speed throughout the speed zone. And as you can see, I absolutely smashed this one. You shouldn't really have many issues with this speed zone whatsoever if you get a nice tune and use one of the rally-based Porsches. The third PR stunt is definitely one of the hardest PR stunts we've had on the game so far when it comes to Splash Festival playlists, and it is the Trailblazer in City Escape. It is restricted to B700 Volkswagens. Now the key to this, in my opinion, is to get in one of the slowest Volkswagens there is, one of the D-Class ones, as you can see on screen, and then use all of the remaining P points that you have to upgrade it. You can usually get quite a bit of power out of it and that's all that matters on this trailblazer, power, because it's basically just two straight lines and two corners. What I recommend you do first is go to the trailblazer, set a destination, you know, a waypoint to the to the exit so that when you go through the trailblazer you can see which path to take, it's quite easy to figure out, or just follow the path that I take on screen. But the trick to this, get as much run up as you can towards the entrance of the trailblazer and try not to go flat out up the stairs. Go quite quick but not too quick because you want to be able to make the first corner. Go flat out down the straight all the way sort of past the church and towards the you know the last corner. Now as you can see on screen when I did this I actually just crashed into the wall and sort of bounced off of it and it sort of helped me quite a bit and then it's just a, another straight line up to the finish of the trailblazer and as you can see I almost did it by a complete second. Now if you fail the second corner, rewind is your friend, you can quite easily do the second corner again by rewinding, but if you fail the first corner through the entrance, you sort of need to start again and get a bit of a run up. But you can see the car I used, get a B700 tune, if it's not working out, try another B700 tune, try to find one that's labelled for the trailblazer. Don't go too quickly up the stairs, try to get a drift around the corner to the first straight, and then when you get to the second straight, straight just after the church, if you need to, bounce off the wall, gives you a bit of a speed boost to get up to the finish line. So I can see why this one's difficult, I didn't struggle that much once I sort of figured out the nick of it. This is another one where in the comment section below, whatever car you managed it in, let people know and then just help each other out. Next up, we have the Cross Countryside Championship, which is restricted to B700 off-road vehicles. The first race in this, I did it in the Mini X-Raid, and with a championship, it's not that hard to win. It's on highly skilled, but the Mini X-Raid, it was a little bit of a chore to get into first place, so I don't recommend using the Mini X-Raid for this. What I do recommend using is the Ford Ranger Rally Raid, as you can see on screen. Again, go and get a tune for it, it's restricted to B700, so go to your tunes, go to load setup and find someone else's off-road tune for the B700 um, Ford Ranger Rally Raid, but it's not that hard to say into first place on highly skilled difficulty if you have a nicely tuned Ford Ranger Rally Raid. That's how I did that championship. The second championship, which is called Second Home, is restricted to S1900 Nissans. Now I did this in the, the 2020 Nismo GTR. I went again to a tune and I actually picked Don Joe and Song's tune, S100 sorry S1 900 sort of road racing tune very very easy it's three street races the first one's actually in the city three tunnels that one's a little bit tricky um, but the other two are sort of out in the open on the long straight roads very easy to stay in first place get a nice tune on it you don't have to use the Nismo GTR if you don't have it because it is a DLC vehicle but what you can do is just pick the normal GTR a very relatively modern Nissan is what I recommend along with a nice tune on it but you can find your own tune after you've done them too we have the photo challenge which is very si simple take a picture of a cult car at Teo Tehuacan if that's how you pronounce it Again, you can go to your car list, you can filter your cars down to cult cars. I used the BMW iSetta, and then the, the place where you need to take the photo is on the screen right now. It's the pyramids at one of the drag strips. Horizon Open. Horizon Open is a very easy challenge this week because you will probably get this automatically just by doing your playground games. It's basically get some get some infected kills while playing infected. You'll probably do this naturally anyway while playing playground games, as I just said. And then the final challenge is monthly rivals. Get a clean lap on that in the Ferrari SF90 
Once again, it's very simple. There's no pressure with this because if you wanted to, you could just go around the lap as slow as possible, not hitting any walls and get a clean lap. That's what a clean lap means. Don't go off track and don't hit any walls, but you don't have to do it quickly. You can just go slow if you want. Do one lap, exit, and there is your monthly rivals clean lap point completed. And that is a complete guide to this week's festival playlist. You've got absolutely everything you need to know. I didn't go into specific about which tunes I used because it's quite easy just to find the tunes yourselves. Go to the list, look for ones that are named with what you're doing. If you're doing a trailblazer, find one that's named trailblazer. It's not that difficult, honestly. If you're having any issues with anything, let me know in the comment section below. And please do let me know if you want me to do one of these videos every week. Every single Thursday for every festival playlist, I will do a guide on how to complete all of the challenges and the optimal cars and the optimal tunes please do let me know i'll see you guys next week on week three leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already for more horizon 5 content and i'll see you all later